I am so glad it is pretty much Friday. Um, today went well. I started reading. I read a lot this morning. I'm going to read some more uh, this evening. And it's pretty interesting. It's cool reading like the both the books that I got. The Meisner one, this one, uh, it's, it's as if I'm really in... A class of his. That's the perspective of the storyteller. It's like you're taking one of his classes. And it's interesting because I'm well, obviously learning about his technique of acting. Acting is his, his uh, acting, teaching, teaching. Act. I'm learning his style of acting. And I don't know if I can jive with it because it's very uh there's certain aspects of it that I agree with but there's other things that I just don't get like for example there is a uh a tech I don't know if you can call it a technique but a, a strategy that um he uses with his students where it's it's called the repetition game I think and it's where you just repeat back and forth whatever the person says to you so I tell you yeah and it's based off of observations like I see that you're wearing a blue hat I say you're wearing a blue hat then you say I'm wearing a blue hat. And then I say, you're wearing a blue hat. And then it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the idea is that you, what you say is determined by what they say. And it's kind of a loop type thing. And so it's more based on what you're hearing as opposed to what you're trying to say. If that makes sense. I don't really get it myself. That's why I just... It doesn't really make sense to me. It doesn't seem effective or something. It's really interesting. But uh, there's some things that he has said in the book that do uh, jive with me. That I, that, you know, that I can really get. Like he... One of the things was he said your line is... Mr. Meisner, let's say. That's what was in the book, Mr. Meisner. And uh, so that was the line that they were supposed to say. And they he had him turn around, and then he, like, pinched the guy. And he was like, Mr. Meisner! And he reacted and said his line. And it was really, it was truthful, you know? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's good. That makes sense because it's like, you know, in the scene, you're reacting to the other person. You're reacting to what's going on around you. Then you're saying your lines and it's truthful instead of, you know, acting. Uh, it's funny how in acting, acting is not good. <laughs> it's it's interesting. But um, it's just, it's, it's weird, like... It's interesting how... I've said interesting too many times, but... Uh, how much he emphasizes that repetition thing because I'm only like 50 pages in and it's it's been brought up a lot and like you know he had he had one of his exercise exercise that was that was the word I was looking for not technique uh one of his exercises was one um one guy would be focusing on some activity that he was supposed to be doing with urgency like he had to do it and somebody would then knock on the door and you know if they if they came in they would notice the person and then they were supposed to start interacting doing the repetition thing while the guy's still hustling through whatever activity he's doing and so Say he's looking through a phone book. You know, the person would come in and be like, you're looking through a phone book. He's like, I'm looking through a phone book. 
and he, they're like, you're looking through a phone book? And he's like, I'm looking through a phone. And then you back and forth, back and forth. And they're, I don't even know what you're supposed to get out of it. It's so weird. I don't get it. The thing is, the, what's funny is three years ago, I was here in LA and I audited a class at Playhouse West. It's where James Franco went to school, uh, where he learned, he went there for like, 10 years or something like that long time and they they were meisner they studied the meisner technique and i go in there totally blind i have no idea what to expect and i sit down and these people start doing that the what i just mentioned like this knock on the door they come in this dude's like for when when i was auditing the classic i was like furiously building with legos like his life depended on it and this person came in and these people start doing this repetition thing. And I'm just like, what is happening? What is going on? What, what is this? <laughs> and, and it would, you know, multiple people would go up and like the students would just go up and, you know, go through this. And sometimes, you know, once they'd get done, the teacher would be like, so what did, what did you guys learn? <laughs> or something you'd be like, you know. How'd that go? And they'd be like, oh, wow. You know, or something like that. I'm like, what? What did I just watch? What is this? What's what's going on? Yeah, this is a joke, you know? And I just felt like this, it was another, it was another universe. I'm like, what is, what is, these human beings are interacting. What is, you know, because I'm so, you know, there has to be like a reason. There has to be a story. There has to be development if you're just saying you're a person i'm a person you're a person i'm a person I'm a, you're a person i'm a per back and forth back and forth back but and then maybe it changes somehow for some reason like you know you're angry i'm angry you're angry i'm angry you're angry i'm angry you're angry but like it just makes no sense to me so i'm gonna finish this book but I might not hop on the Meisner train. I might, which it's another good thing about acting is that I don't have to hop on the Meisner train. There are so many, uh, I don't know, schools of acting that I can adapt or adopt if I want. Uh, there's Stella Adler. There's uh, uh, one guy that I keep on forgetting, but there's Chekhov. There's... Um, uh, well, Stanislavski is like above, like he was the guy that taught like Meisner, like I mentioned yesterday. And so that's what's, it, it's insane because, you know, you want to be a doctor. You can't learn like, oh, how do I want to learn to be a doctor? You know, what style of being a doctor do I want to be? That's not a thing. It's like one way. But with acting, it's like it's so many different paths. You know, so many different techniques and styles. So I might experiment around and see what style I want, you know. I think I'm going to be more of the method guy, where, uh, which is not Meisner. But uh, I can't remember what the guy's name was. But I'll, I'll remember if I read his book. But um, yeah, I'm assuming he has a book. But... Uh, the more method where like I kind of become the character and I kind of live as the character for the duration of the shoot and then I kind of let it go once we're done or something like that. I like that idea because I really like actors who do that. You know, Daniel Day-Lewis does that. Jared Leto does that. And he's fantastic. And uh, other guys are just, they're really good. And they do that. So I'm like, I want to I want to be like that. So we'll see. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today, I think. Tomorrow, uh, like I said, tomorrow's Friday. Hoorah. Very excited. Uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.